your government, that your fellow citizens are going to strike a gold medal for you. Congratulations. It's a high honor for the king as Arnold Palmer receives the Congressional Gold Medal in Washington, D.C. Yanni Sen is at her third straight RICO Women's British Open, but will she finally break out of her slump and break back into the winner's circle? And Casey Martin is back in action on the Web.com tour, but is he gunning for a PGA Tour card in 2013? It's all right now on Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. We're now just 16 days away from the Ryder Cup, and coming up, we're going to continue our in depth look at players on both teams. Welcome to Golf Central. I'm Lara Baldessera with Ryan Burr. Yeah, you know, Tuesday, Arnold Palmer celebrated his 83rd birthday in his birthplace of Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and proof that Arnold is showing no signs of slowing down today. He was in Washington, D.C., where he joined the ranks of George Washington, Charles Lindbergh, Winston Churchill, and Neil Armstrong when he received the Congressional Gold Medal, which is bestowed upon individuals by Congress. A great honor for sure, and our Kelly Tillman was there to take it all in. Ryan, at a time when the economy and health care have caused a cavernous partisan divide in Washington, there are very few things these days that can bring party members together. But it should come as no surprise that Arnold Palmer has done just that. Today, when Congress bestows the Congressional Gold Medal on Arnold Palmer, we will be honoring a living legend. Arnold Palmer has never stopped giving. He's continued to help, heal, and inspire. And he remains as committed to others as ever. Words of praise echo from both sides of the aisle, and then from the great Jack Nicklaus. Arnold Palmer was every, the everyday man's hero. From the modest upbringing, Ar Arnold embodied the hardworking strength of America. Arnold, uh, you've uh, struck our hearts and our minds, and today uh, your government, your fellow citizens, are going to strike a gold medal for you. Congratulations. I've been nervous for a week for anticipating this whole thing and to sit up there and, and, and see all the things that are happening and the speeches by the uh, United States Congress. Uh, and I, I will say uh, both sides of the Congress were there, so, and they were so great. It was Congressman Joe Baca who originally introduced the Arnold Palmer Gold Medal Act in 2009, and it unanimously passed, making Arnold the only athlete to receive a civilian's three highest honors, the National Sports Award, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and today's Congressional Gold Medal. A golfer is able to achieve this not just because they played golf, but what they've done to make lives a lot better in the community. And uh, Arnold was a humanitarian. So it was a lot easier to try to get many of the members to sign on as co-sponsors of the legislation. I'd like to think that maybe something has to do with the honor of the game. Uh, and, and that goes very well and coincides with the American life and the American people. In 1776, George Washington was the first man to receive the Congressional Gold Medal. No doubt Arnold's accomplishments on grass lay the foundation for this grand achievement. But the efforts spearheaded by his hospital are what ultimately define his legacy. Our hospital in Orlando and uh, in Latrobe and uh, the March of Dimes, which I've had something to do with over the years, uh, all of those things are of just unbelievable importance to me. And it makes me feel like, well, golf is great, but it isn't everything. Arnold Palmer is just the sixth athlete in history to receive the Congressional Gold Medal. Each and every one of these men are heralded for their athletic endeavors, but more importantly, for the impact they made on society. Quite simply put, Arnold Palmer is a hero. Reporting from Capitol Hill, I'm Kelly Tillman for Golf Central. Thanks so much, Kelly. The